Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to JS Tube. Today we are going to see how to do pan sharpening using ArcGIS for Landsat 8 imagery. So let us start with Arc Toolbox. From there, go to the option Data Management Tool and go to the option Raster. From there, select Raster Processing. From that, go to the option Composite Band. So the next thing is that input your satellite bands. So now I'm going to use my band two, three, four, and five. So these are the four bands I'm going to use. So with this tool, I'm going to combine it together like we do it in Airdas Imagine layer stacking. So the next thing is that just give the name. I'm just going to use it as composite. composite. Save it and just give OK. So that as you can see, my composite that is my combining of layer, layer bands together is being completed. Just I'm going to change the bands four, three, and two. So as you can see here, my satellite image has been arrived here. The next thing is that we need to add our panchromatic image so normally band 8 is the panchromatic image so I'm going to just add it so my panchromatic image has been added I'm going to just disable it right now the next thing is that we need to add our bands to our composite image so that is we are going to add our composite to panchromatic so that we will we'll be getting a higher resolution of data. So the next thing is that select the option create pan sh sharpening raster data sheet. So this is the tool. Now we need to input our raster image that is our composite image. The next thing is that you just go to the option panchromatic image and select your panchromatic image here and provide a output fold so I'm going to give it as high set I just save it so this might take a bit long process depending upon your system it might be taking around three to four minutes so as you can see here, uh, the process has been completed. So the next thing is that we are going to examine the resolution of this uh, satellite image. First, I am going to examine about the composite. Just go to the option properties. From there, see the cell size. This is 30 meter resolution data, which is a composite image. So the next thing is that we are going to see the properties of our high satellite resolution image you can see here the cell size is just 15 meters resolution so our panchromatic band has worked so the next thing is that we are going to compare both of this image so now I'm going to show you how it should be compared So now I'm going to compare the both the satellite image. On the top is the high satellite resolution image and at the below we are having our composite image that is 30 meter resolution. So now I'm going to just swipe it down for you. As you can see the difference here. The satellite image with the panchromatic image with the panchromatic band and without panchromatic band. You can see on the left side it is a high resolution image on on my right side this is a low resolution image of 30 meters so now I'm going to hide this image and just going to zoom in now zoom in so just have a look at it this one is having a much much resolution than the normal band 
you can see here there has been a, a good improvement in this image after doing a panchromatic image so it adds a much value to the image which having more accuracy than that of the normal image so i hope you have learned something from my video keep supporting me thank you bye